You're listening to Utah Public Radio. I'm Shalane Smith-Needham here with our film guru, KCT Allen. Hi, Casey. I'm back. It's good to have you back. And this week you saw the film The Kitchen. Tell us what it's about and if you liked it. The Kitchen is centered on three women whose husbands are in the Irish Mafia in the Hell's Kitchen neighborhood of 1970s New York City. When the husbands are arrested and sent to prison, these three women start managing parts of the family business at first to put food on the table for themselves and their children. But it doesn't take long for them to usurp the entire male-dominated leadership to control the whole operation of gangsters, debt collecting, intimidation, and murder. This film is based on a comic book series called The Kitchen, created in 2014. It felt like the 1980 feminist comedy 9 to 5 meets the epic mobster drama Goodfellas. Replete with feathered hair, denim jumpsuits, and oversized sunglasses, it's great to have more mainstream movies centered on women. But first-time director Andrea Berloff seemed too timid to dive deeply into the psychology of these characters or the dangerous lives they gradually adopt. So many scenes and moments of dialogue felt too shallow or curtailed, so the whole story felt rushed like it was trying to include too much. Too many characters, too many montages, and too many conflicts resolved with one conversation. It's a shame the kitchen couldn't take the time to write more thoughtfully or explore its characters more patiently. I'm hoping Andrea Berloff's next film will be more tidy and more interesting. So not a recommendation on this one. It was okay. It had so much more potential. It just landed like somewhere in the middle. All right, Casey, thanks for being here this week. My pleasure.